Well, hello everyone. So this is the gaming life here, and we're gonna play Just Cause 2. Anyways, why? Because just cause, just because I can. Anyways, let's just look at this um loading screen. I always love loading screens that tell you what to do. This is like, it's like, do I really need to know? It's like, do do I really need to know how to play a game? Like, but like not even that. Like simple basic things. Like press E to pick up a gun. You know. Like, do I need to know that? That's just my theory. Whatever. So it looks like we're in Here some we Vietnam place. Now, I don't know, Southeast, Southeast Asia, Asia. like that's that's it's Vietnam, just Cambodia, just Laos, right? all that. Those countries. Then I took an uh, I took an Asian map here. test and I had Someone to memorize them. So I pretty much know those tomb. places. And I don't know, I don't know about the country they're talking about here. But yeah. So this is just a bunch of boring cutscene. You know, um, the voice acting isn't that good actually. I, I really don't like it. I'm not I'm not excited. I'm not really into this game. I'm not convinced by these characters, you know, I, I don't care if you are, like, so like I'm pretty, pretty sure everyone who plays the game just does the whole GTA like thing, you know, just Worst running around scenario, doing whatever they want, but right. whatever. So what's I'm stuck here him? playing the campaign, know, so that's what we're gonna do. So as you can see, his the guy's arm, main character, out. I don't even know who he is, so I, I really couldn't care less. He's just a typical guy, Sheldon Nathan Drake everything. looking guy, whatever. So he has this the grappling hook. You know it's kind of like in the Legend of Zelda's, but like, but more like Spider-Man type of thing. Like it literally does look like Spider-Man when he's jumping around and stuff. And I know I'm talking over this, but I couldn't care less. Oh no! Oh no! We're being attacked. Oh, those Vietnamese and they got us this time, but we'll, we'll get. Oh snap! Another RPG, and people are falling down. Oh, always happening here and stuff. At least it's not a FPS, it would have been a lot worse if it was that, like, the worst story. So, you know, we're gunning him down, how come why couldn't play that section? And, and like, oh, he's dead, oh, he's gone, oh well, like, typical guy has to die first, you know. Oh, no, it looks like we're gonna save him. Like, I guess he was really important after all. So, here I am playing the game. Oh, this well, this is actually really hard to control. I'm not I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. This is catch up with the dead gunner. Like he's dead, and I'm supposed to catch up with him. I'm supposed to catch up with the dead gunner. That's just crazy. How am I supposed to do that? Like, isn't he dead? And we're we're we like supposed to even die, die or something? You know, whatever. So I'm dodging all these anti-aircraft guns like blowing up in the air. But that's a World War II technology. When it blows up in the air like that, you should be thankful, I guess. So, I'm like, I guess I'm free falling or something, I don't know, and then this happened. Oh, that's weird. Oh, well, looks like I did it. Whatever, you know, I did it, so it's all me, you know, I, all, I did all that. So I guess now we have to land on this mountain or something. I'm having real difficulties with this. Like, I'm pressing like all the buttons I could just to control my landing, and it, I'm not really sure what to do. Oh, okay, there we go. Open, parachute with space bar. Got it, but I'm gonna do it like when I get closer. Okay, there we go. And I could also close the parachute with space. That's awesome. So now we're falling normal. I could actually control it a lot better too. Before I was like, I couldn't even control it. It was pretty crazy. But yeah, now we got the parachute open. So now I'm just gonna have to land on the landing zone. And everything's gonna be all peachy and stuff, right? Oh no, look, look at me. I'm just gonna fall down. Like, I, like you know, I'm very impatient. You know, I just can't do that. But whatever. So I'm actually surprised. This is um, let's play is going really well. Everything is recording and stuff pretty good. And like anything, I just want to skip this cutscene, so I'm just gonna do that. There you go. Whatever. Anyway, so I'm finally here in Panau. I don't know if that's like an island or like a country. I don't know, because I never saw that in the map anywhere, so it must be in the future or something like that. So I'm just like looking around here. Look, look at this. You know, I like the motion blur here. That's really cool. Like, it has that next-gen type of feel, because it is a next-gen, uh, and I, like, I just love how a bunch of next-gen games just do that, like, put motion blur and makes it look more realistic. So now I'm doing the running here. It's not, it's just, it's like, whatever. I, I prefer just doing the regular walking thing, but whatever. So I'm just messing around this. Now I'm like, I just want to do the free roam play already. I don't want to do none of this boring campaign mission stuff. I'm like, come on, I already did this already. So anyway, this is the part I was talking about. This is, like, the whole grappling hook thing, and... It takes a while to learn. I'm like, how how does it work? And then I finally got it now. It takes it like it takes about like two minutes to learn it. If I guess if you're not that good with it, it doesn't take that long. But it does take a while to master it. But once you do, you do the whole Spider-Man thing. You swing like a one web there, and you swing and do another one. It's kind of like that. It's like the grappling hook from Zelda and the 
thing from Spider-Man, he didn't know his spider hook thing. So I'm trying to pull the enemy guard down, and my crosshair is red and everything, it's not, it's not working. So it's exactly like Zelda, you can't reach far away. So, whatever. Now I'm just gonna like, I'm still having troubles with the grappling hook because it sucks and all that. But whatever. Oh, so look, that was cool right there. I like, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like missions when there's like airplane and stuff, and you could just like grab onto the airplane. It'll be like those super secret spy stuff and you know, all that. So I have nothing at all. I have no weapons at all except my grappling hook. So that's what I'm gonna use because I'm gonna go pro right now. So I'm gonna see if I can go all the way over there. Let's see if I can go up there. Whoa, see, that was pretty cool. And I landed safely too and everything, so that's pretty nice. Um, come on, really? You're gonna have like those little leaving areas and stuff? I hate when they do that. I thought that was only like in games like Battlefield where you do that. Okay, that was pointless too. I was trying to like, I'm trying to land over there, but then I just can't do that. And also, like I said, um, I'm surprised this Let's Play is going really well because I can't, I can't do this all the time. Like, I have, I have a big problem with Virtual Dub. Virtual Dub doesn't like to compress the videos all the time. So I have to get lucky if it does it. And, and then it takes a long time to do it too. So just for like this one gameplay I'm doing, it took me like a few days just to do it. But I, I guess I get better, I'm making better quality videos for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it because you know, it takes a little longer to do it than just my typical videos and stuff. So. So yeah, now it's gonna be my first time in combat, and they're like, ooh, yeah, I just got him like that. Just got with my grappling hook, swinging it around there. It's gonna be all good, and then just swinging around here. Oh, this guy got a gun. I don't even got anything. I'm just gonna go through him. Like, I'm a juggernaut right there. Good job. You need to find a gun, Rico. Oh, of course. Of course I needed one. Oh, look, I just grappled onto like the little same tile that I just was on. So, you know, whatever. Alright, gonna find something here. Weapon stash, three meter. All right, so let's see what's in the weapon stash here. All right, there's like a little pistol here. I'm trying to pick it up. Okay, I got it now. So now I'm ready. I'm ready to take on the world right now. So, oh, uh, so my heat level's going up apparently. Oh, look, there's the enemies. I'm trying to shoot at them. Uh, I'm trying to aim with stuff, but you know, it's all right. The mechanics is good, but I, I bet on console you get the aim assist and it'll be much easier, but on here it's a little difficult so then now I got it seems like I got dual wield now I'm not sure well I got two okay yeah now I got dual wield no look at this look at this zoom, 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 zoom. you know like I like those games where you, you get dual wield but you could also aim with them too like not not like in all the modern warfare 2 you know what I'm saying like or like in Halo you can't really aim with them but like like in Saints Row like I like doing that and that was pretty cool right there too but the main thing of this game is just swing around, that's really it, it's not really about the weapons, it's about, oh no, it's a machine gun thing on it, so I'm supposed to get on this black machine or anti-aircraft and take out this helicopter, look at this, and it's taking so much hits too, I'm shooting at it and it's like, oh come on, and I shot it right in the face too, okay, finally, I was about to say, like, it was getting shot at and it was still being, it was still worse, you know, I don't know what was up with that. All right, so I'm still running around. I'm surprised this country in Southeast Asia is like really advanced and stuff. Kind of reminds me of another country that has a communist star and stuff, but yeah. But I guess that's why it's fictional. So I'm trying to look around where I could grapple here and I'm trying to get over there, but it seems just way too far. I'm just looking at little places where I could just get on and stuff. Uh, I think I get on the snow, you know, look at this. Ooh, yeah, okay, yeah. Alright, so that's the case there. So now I'm able to go up to the building now since I'm all the way down here and take on those guards. Wait, wait a second, wait. Okay, there we go. Oh, and then I'm gonna grapple on here, this little explosive thing. Well, it's not really explosive, but it kind of looks like it. And I'm just trying to jump up here. And I'm kind of scared because I could jump. And I might not jump over. Still not sure, um, you know. Gonna climb up here, alright, and just jump down here. Or not, you know. I see some red barrels and a huge building right there. Don't know what to do. I'm just trying to figure this thing out because, you know, like, I hate like, these type of demo games and stuff. Well, it's not really a demo. Well, yeah, it's just, it's actually just pretty much the first level. 
And that's what I hate about like these free roaming games, but then they always make you do that very first mission. It's the same thing with Saints Row 3, like I had to do, I had to do all the first missions and it was really annoying, like I just wanted to play and I was stuck doing something else and I always, I was like the character was dressed up in something, you know, I, I forgot, like I haven't played that game in a while, but I remember it. And look at me, I'm falling down and I remember I could just parachute through this, you know. Look at this, and I went fast too. This is like a fast parachute. This is like a helicopter speed. Oh no, I'm gonna crash! Ooh, see it? Like these physics, like these physics are funny. It's like you would think you would have died, but you actually don't. And then also in Saints Row Three or whatever, which one? I'm just talking about third one because that's like the one I really played. And I was, I always loved that you could jump off like really high distances not not like skyscraper distances but just like general like high places and like you just fall and roll around but you're still alive you still have a lot of stamina left and it was pretty crazy i, I really loved it too and oh my god look at this lag and just so bad and i'm getting shot at here oh no. i'm i died Game over. Dun 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 dun. Oh yeah, I could grapple hook with the parachute. Did I do that? I don't know. I'm done. All right, so I gotta do this again. So I'm gonna skydive and open parachute. There we go. Whoa! I can't control it now. It's like whoa. It's going. It's going really fast. There's like some helpful wind. It's like like wind sailing to me now and i'm just trying to use the technique i was told but whoa, i'm gonna crash oh whatever i guess i didn't even grab him for that i don't think i have my other gun so i'm stuck with one now and look i made him jump and i'm aiming now so i, I got the hang of it now and i'm like boo, 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 boo. like i need something better than this though i can't just go around with this it's like you want me to use my grab hook. look at this i'm gonna use it anyways this game also reminds me of Infamous, Infamous just because of the way it looks. Like, it looks like this would be a Sony game. I don't know if it is a Sony game, like Naughty Dog type of game, but it actually does look like it. So, anyways, the recording got kind of screwed up here. I really don't know why. Like, I went to, because the video was in, like, in parts, and it was, like, in four parts, and then I checked the, I checked the third one, and it seemed like it was, it had some of the repeating clips of the other parts, and I'm like, what the heck, and... So the whole recording was pretty much messed up, messed up, but yeah, you can still watch this part here where I failed epically, this is actually like the very last part, I just skipped it over because I couldn't find the other clips I had, and it wasn't very interesting anyways, but I was just talking about how this game would have been like those Sony type of games, but I, I don't know if it is, I really don't know, and I'm not gonna find out, you know, it's just another third person game, but it's a really good one, you know, it's a really good one. Well, I want really good one isn't too much of a stretch. I think this game is best on consoles. Like I know, like there's good games on PC, but I have a really hard time playing this on PC. Like uh, to be honest, like if it, if this was on console, I would do a much better job. Like games like GTA and Saints Row, they're or like even Uncharted, they're best on PC. And I mean now nah, um, they're best on console. They're best on console, not on PC. That's just my opinion. Like when it comes to FPS, of course, PC is good. But when it comes to like these third-person ones, I just like I like console better. So yeah.